Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the third day of the 40-day Daniel fast. Remember, from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., we try not to eat anything. If you get a little weak, I, I understand. Trust me. Life happens. But I pray that you still fast regardless. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I pray that you are strengthened in the name of Jesus. God was telling me, he said, it is very important, not just doing this fast, but a lifestyle. He said, they must get back in the spirit. I'm seeing everybody, and, and I'm not trying to be ugly when I say this. Please hear my heart and my spirit. I've seen a lot of movement. A lot of people are doing things, marching, doing everything. You have to be mindful about something. One thing that God actually corrected me on long time ago he said you, ju you just can't do things i said god what, what do you mean he said people have good intentions right he said but if it's not done by my spirit with my spirit come on somebody he said it's not going to touch the spirit i'm gonna say it again he says not going to touch the spirit he says so it must be done by my spirit oh come on somebody hallelujah so we just can't be doing something just to say we're doing something we have to be able to touch a nation a people come on somebody you want it to be a powerful movement so i want to read something to you um, scripture John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth I'm going to read another translation God is a spirit and those worshiping him in spirit and truth it do it behoove to worship so what am I saying you have to worship him oh come on somebody hallelujah I'm going to do this prayer a little different because guess what I want to one thing and I learned this long time ago in Bible college and just on my own. You can pray all day long. Hallelujah. But he said when, when prayers, he said praise is your garment. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. He said praise is your garment. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me tell you something. You don't have to be the best singer. I keep telling y'all. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me make this thing so clear. One day there will not be any music. Oh, come on, somebody. I don't think y'all understand what I just said. The music is going to stop. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. The music is going to stop. What you going to do? Oh, y'all don't hear me. So it must come from your belly, said the Lord. So hallelujah to his name. So let me go ahead and do what has been imposed on me. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit, Lord. We worship you in the truth. You just got to learn how to praise God. And hold on. With no music, it is so powerful. We got to go back to those days. So Y'all don't understand because it is a pure worship. It ain't got no music. Y'all don't hear me. God don't mind a harp or other things, but it's something about when you just start praying. It's something about when you just start worshiping. It's something about that. It comes from your balance, said the Lord. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying this morning? I'm talking about after you pray, after you fast, just just begin. And, and guess what? The Holy Spirit will put a song in your spirit. That's what he put in mind. After he told me what he told me about worshiping him in spirit and truth, he said, I want you to start singing it, Deanna. And I've been singing it all morning. He's, we worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. We worship you in the spirit lord we worship you in the truth we worship you in the spirit we worship you in the truth begin to worship him where you at begin to worship him when you worship God, I promise you, everything in the atmosphere changes, said the Lord. He said, he said burdens are destroyed. Yokes are destroyed. He said, the enemy cannot stand the presence of worship. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to you right now. He said, the enemy cannot stand the presence of worship. Because let me tell you something. Do you remember the blind man? Oh, come on, somebody. Talk to me for a moment. I don't know why they keep. That's, the, that's just the devil. It got to be the devil. I, I don't even understand what they're doing. I don't even understand who he's texting me. But anywho, something about worship, but something about the presence, but it's a way to be in the presence. Do y'all remember the story of the blind man? 
he was in the presence of God, but he didn't get healed until he accepted the spirit of God. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. So, and, and, and let's be real. Every time you go to church, and you've seen it yourself. You can help go to a conference. You can go to churches. Some people be on their phones. They be doing something. So it's not about just being in the presence of God. It's about the worshiping of God. Because you could be in the presence all day. You know it for yourself. When I first got saved, I was in church. I don't know. I was just looking around, looking, see who had on what, who, who, who was looking tired from partying the night before. I would, you know, when you first got saved, you were just really a spectator. But boy, when you start getting into worship, when you start getting in your word, when you start listening, Listening with your spirit, something changed, huh? something shifted. You said, I got this thing. You said, you, you know what you said? You said, I understand now. When you start getting in the spirit, it is very important. I don't care how much word you have in you. I don't care how much you go to church. I don't care how much you hear worship. If you don't learn how to get in worship, because that's when you hear the truth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray doing this fast that you don't just, I'm fasting, y'all. And No, 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 no. Get before him. Lay before his face and come up with some power because we need power in this hour. We don't need entertainment. We, we don't need charisma. I just said something. We don't need good preaching. I said it. I said it. I, we, we need a movement of God, a shift of God. Our children are dying. People are dying. We're tired. We're tired. And you know you're sick and tired, said the Lord. So when you're sick and tired, you do something different. You don't do the same thing. The same thing is insanity, said the Lord. He said, but do something different. Pray to me so I can move on your behalf, said the Lord. It is time to move on God's, it's, it's time to stay in position and get in position. People are doing a lot of talking, but God said, I want to move on your behalf, thus said the Lord. He said, but I can't move if you don't move me. I just said something. I can't move if you don't move me. There must be a certain level of worship. God says that it must reach heaven. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's a certain presence. There's a certain worship. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't just play with this thing. You got to get real with this thing. You got to give it all you got. You got to surrender your presence, your will, your spirit. There it goes right there. Hallelujah. God, just do what you want to do. God, have your way. God, teach me, God. God, reach me, God. God, change me, God. God, rearrange me, God. Do what you got to do in my life, God. Hallelujah. That's what he means by worship me in spirit and in truth. He said, I don't need your flesh. That flesh a mess. He said, but give me what is due. The honor and the glory. Give me your spirit, which I, which hold on, you are made in my image. So that's what I need to worship with you with. I just said something. We were made in the image of God by his spirit. He blew that spirit. He, he, he breathed into Adam. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Everybody want excitement. Everybody want charisma. Everybody, y'all know it's the truth. Y'all know it's the truth. Every. Everybody is trying to do all that. So praise Lord, praise God, hallelujah. Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you are, are blessed, that you continue to be strengthened, that you continue to walk in God's love, that you continue to walk in forgiveness, that you continue to worship him. And don't be easily moved. Don't be easily moved. Don't be easily moved. I don't know why I'm saying that. The enemy, uh, I'm getting ready to write another book. Um, it's so much stuff that God's been talking to me about. And I'm going to mention it later. I'm not going to mention it now. But everything that is going on is on purpose, said the Lord. The enemy is trying to move you. Don't let the enemy move you. Don't let the enemy move you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.